Hello dear students, I am Prof. Neeta Fulchan Gaikwad. Welcome in our free education channel English Master. Dear students, today I am going to teach you how to learn English in 10 days. So let's accept this challenge and let's learn the English in 10 days. Okay, so today is the first day. On the first day, I am going to teach you the basic things which are very important to learn English. Okay, so my all dear students, this lecture is I am going to explain you English to English only. Then after I am going to uh, upload the lecture with English to Hindi explanation and the third lecture will be English to Marathi explanation. So this lecture is for my all dear students who want the lectures in English to English language. So do like, share, subscribe our channel and keep supporting. Thanks a lot for your love and support dear students and parents. So let's start. To start to learn English, the most important part is Parts of speech. We need to understand what is the part of speech. Okay. To make a sentence, write a sentence. Okay. To read a sentence, we need to first understand how to make a sentence. To make a sentence, there are different parts of speech which we need to know. How, uh, what are the parts of speech? The number one, that is noun. So, here I have given the meanings in Hindi for your but explanation. Point number one is noun. Okay. So on the first day, we are going to learn what is noun and the types of noun. Then second, we will learn about pronoun. Okay. The third part, very important part, that is verb. On the fourth day, we will learn adjective. On the fifth day, we will learn adverb. On the sixth day, we will learn preposition. On seventh day, we will learn conjunction. And on the eighth day, we will learn intersection. And on ninth and tenth day, we will learn how to make sentences. And uh, there are some important sentences or uh, for the communication skill. Okay, to improve our communication skill, uh, which we are using in our daily to day uh, communication. Okay, also uh, tense is the most important part of the part of speech that is tense that is we are going to learn on the ninth day on on the tenth day we will uh, take a revision about all the parts of speech okay i am giving you the hundred percent guarantee so when we will complete this portion within 10 days you will definitely learn the english completely understand how to speak in english okay so let's start point number one what is noun? My all dear friends, as I am I'm going to tell you in this first lecture, in this first, on this first day, we will learn about what is noun. So, here is the definition of noun. That is, noun is a part of speech that denotes something such as a person, place, thing or idea. I am going to tell you the simple thing. As you can just uh, keep it in your mind that the name of a person, place, thing or idea. That is, we call noun. Okay. So, let's learn with the examples. Point number one. Okay. So, as we all know, whose picture is it? Okay. Oh, here's Salman Khan. So, Salman Khan, what is this? This is the name of a person. Okay. So, what we call that is Salman Khan is a noun. Okay, why? Because this is the name of a person. Like this, like Salman Khan, there are so many actress, actresses and most important persons. Let's check the second thing. That is name of a place. Okay, as we learned from the fifth standard that the name of a person, place, thing or idea as we called it noun. So name of a place, which place is it? Oh, is it, uh, it is railway station. So like railway station, airport station, bus stations. So we called the name of a place is railway station. So this is a noun. Let's check. Point number three, name of a thing. Name of a thing. Which thing is it? Yeah, oh, it is Taj Mahal, right? So Taj Mahal is the name of a thing. So we called it noun. Let's check next. Name of animal oh look at this tiger is roaring okay so the name of animal is tiger so we called it noun let's check next name of which bird is it 
Oh my God, sounding very nice. That is peacock. Peacock is the name of a bird. So we called it the noun. Okay, students. I hope you understand that the name of a person, place, thing, or idea is we called as noun. Okay. So noun is the name of a person, place, or thing, or idea. Let's learn some examples. I'm going to tell you throughout the examples. Like number one, I live in Maharashtra. I live in Maharashtra. So here, students, Maharashtra is what? Maharashtra is the name of a place. So we called it. So we called it. Maharashtra is a noun. Why? Because it is a uh, name of a place. Then, Pu is my sister. Okay, Pu is the name of a person so this is a noun in this sentence number three i love to play with my dog okay so dog is the name of animal so this is noun in this sentence number four i visited the taj mahal taj mahal is the name of a thing okay so uh, taj mahal is the name uh, is the noun in this sentence the sentence number five my mother likes coffee coffee is the name of a thing so coffee is the noun in this sentence okay number six teachers teach in school school is the name of a place so school is the noun in this sentence i hope you all understand it okay types of noun so let's learn student types of noun so i am going to tell you common noun and proper noun in this lecture okay what is the common noun what is the proper noun i'm going to explain you throughout the various examples and in the next lecture we will learn about collective noun material noun and abstract noun so on this first day we will learn about the common noun and proper noun let's learn what is a common noun common noun means what students common nouns are words for people animals places or things okay common nouns are words for people animals places or things let's learn it these are words for people they are common noun what is it doctor okay so there are so many doctors okay so ladies doctor gents doctor so we'll call their profession as a doctor so doctor is a common noun also police officer police officer is a common noun nurse nurse is a common noun okay singer singer is a singer is showing the profession right so it is a common noun then actor actor or actresses these are the common nouns next astronaut astronaut this is also the profession so we called it as the common noun okay so students so there are some words for animals also and we call this the common noun which are it that is zebra zebra is showing all community of the zebras birds okay bird is showing all community of the bird so this is the common noun zebra bird also cat cat is showing the family okay dog is also showing the family various kinds of dogs comes in the word dog various kinds of cats comes in the name cat so we'll call it the common noun cat dog these are the common nouns also cow hen okay so these are the common nouns like this crocodile deer these are also the common nouns okay students i hope this thing is uh, explained you very well that is the name of the particular that there are some words for persons there are some words for animals which we called as a common noun let's check some other examples that is the words for places they are also common noun let's check what are the places garden okay garden is the uh, garden it comes in the common noun beach beach also comes in the common noun okay hospital hospital also comes in the common noun school also comes in the common noun let's check what are the words for things which we called common nouns that is cake okay as we know cake okay this is the thing coffee is also the thing so we called as common noun let's check some other examples that is mobile mobile is a common noun laptop laptop is also the common noun okay so i hope you i very well uh, you very well uh, i very well explained you what is noun and what is common noun we also learned most uh, there are so many examples over there so let's check about the proper noun students what is proper noun names for particular people places or things they always begin with a capital letter 
Okay, just keep it in your mind. The words, okay, the names for particular people, places or things uh, which also always begin with a capital letter or we call those nouns as a proper noun. Let's check. Santa Claus. Santa Claus is a proper noun. Amitabh Bachchan. Okay, Amitabh Bachchan is a proper noun. Okay, because he is the biggest actor in the Bollywood industry. So, Amitabh Bachchan is a proper noun. Santa Claus is a proper noun. Let's check other examples. Uh, like that and students keep it in your mind that your own name and the names of your friends are proper nouns too okay let's check the other examples that the names of countries and their peoples are also proper nouns let's check so indian look at this the indian people from the various cultures various communities okay so we call them as uh, indian okay so indian is a proper noun like that american is a proper noun okay so i am uh, i have uh, taken only these two examples but i am going to tell you that american egypt egyptian indian italian thai japanese korean malia filipino pakistani okay the french so the people from the various countries so we call them as a proper noun okay so just check what is next the name of a towns cities buildings and landmarks are proper nouns let's learn throughout the examples statue of liberty this is a proper noun the red fort which is in new delhi so we call it the proper noun okay agenda and alora caves so we call as a proper noun i feel tower so this is a proper noun also let's learn the days of the week and months of year are proper nouns let's learn it days in the week that is sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday so these days are comes in the proper noun okay also the months of the year january february march april may june july august september october november december so we uh, so we call it as a month of the year this comes in proper noun let's learn next the names of mountains seas river and lakes are proper nouns let's check mount everest okay mount everest is a proper noun thames river which is in london so we call this as a proper noun the dead sea okay dead sea is a proper noun the lona lake which is in maharashtra so we call it as proper noun Let's check the next one. The names of festivals, some special events and holidays are proper nouns to students. Okay, so let's check it. Diwali festival, the Shahera festival. So there are so many festivals in India, which the Indian peoples are celebrating every year. So we call those days, that is a festival days, as a proper noun. Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a proper noun. Father's Day is a proper noun. Sister's Day. Okay. So, the name of, as you, as I told you, the name of festivals, some special events and holidays are proper nouns too. Okay. So, students, Valentine's Day, this is also a proper noun. Merry Christmas, Christmas Day, New Year's Day. Okay. And Father's Day, Mother's Day, both comes in proper noun section. So, I hope uh i explained you very well and uh if you like my lecture so do like share subscribe and uh, just if you have any doubts about it so then uh, just ping me in the comment box i'll reply you as per like that okay so today is the first day we learned about on the first day that the noun is the most important part of speech to start the learn english okay so in the second lecture we will learn about the three remaining types of the nouns okay so students, take care of yourself, family and friends. Thank you so much and bye-bye.